Yo, welcome back to the channel. We are in Scotland and look how beautiful it is. We're about to go up a blood row called Ben Moi, I think it's called. Been looking to do this for a while now. Nearly did it a while ago. Yeah, but didn't quite get into it. But today we're going up it with Big Moo. Hoping it's not too hot for Big Moo, it's only about 12, 13 degrees at the minute. It's nice and early in the morning. Planning to get straight up straight doing so I think it's only about five miles or something. So it should be too far. Although I have read it's a bit of a brutal ascent up. But we'll give it a look. So the description on the walk. Said a very direct approach. Bit of a lung buster of a climb. Nothing in the yeah. These are obviously in the late 70s on some kind of like pensioner coach tour and decided to try and walk them in the mountain idiots. Lung buster. About a quarter of the way, find this not very strenuous at all. But nevertheless, I think the description might have been accurate. And I'm starting to think it might have been written by a 20 year old Olympian as well. Fuck me. Look at these views. So we're going there. There was a point where I was worried, so I thought I'd get here early. And it, it's sunny, but it's quite cool still. And I thought, you know, I'm worried about Big Moo and the heat. It's funny, like, I'm sure I heard Big Moo mention a buddy this morning. He's worried about his father and the heat. But I thought I must have misheard him. Because I am sweating. And he's pulling me up this hill. I suppose that's why he's jacked and tanned. And I'm skinny and pale. <laughs> I went big move. He stops. And he stares at us. And he's almost like... I'm embarrassed that you want me dad. And I feel like he's trying to say to us, look, if we see anyone, can we just pretend I'm a stray dog? And you'll take this back to my real owner. Because you can see, he's let me pull us up this hill. He's like, how oh, far that man, what are you doing? I suppose it's the perks of having four pole drive, like. And this twat's getting steeper. Just straight up stairs. God, for a fucking backdrop. Come on, Moo, nearly there. Oh, someone has built. Basically a staircase up the side of the mountain. Oh. 47 minutes in, I've just been walking upstairs. I think we're going to be about an hour to the peak. I think we're about 10, 15 minutes. Oh, the mountain goat's in full effect, yeah, like. I made a conscious decision to put the boots on. So I'm walking up stuff like this, I like to have a good sturdy footing. Trainer just doesn't give us that. I like a bit of ankle support as well. Don't know why, but I've been at it all my life. But yeah, Jesus Christ. She's a good She's a good Oh my God. It was a steep ascent, like. These weren't lying when they said it was a steep ascent. Call that left. Oh. Done 1.6 mile. Just took a one hour and six minutes. It's all about the stats, baby. There she is. That's why I walk with Ben Moore. I don't know. 
I've seen this a while ago. Someone did a run up it. I don't think they came this way though. <laughs> and I knew I was in the area, probably about 20 miles away from it. So I thought, you know what? Let's take it off. I nearly went to Ben. Is it Leddy? I think it is, Ben Leddy. We drove past that to come to here. Now, I've not been up Ben Leddy either. Had a look into it. I did fancy that one, but I've always wanted to come up here for some reason. Um, so I thought, let's get this one done, and Ben Leddy's the next one. If we're ever in the area. Oh, and they're in the peak, and it looks like it's getting into a bit of a scramble. So, I'm going to put the camera away. 2.4 miles in. Three thousand two hundred foot climbed. Decided to start the walk faster. Just about a litre of water. I'm fucking starving now. Plus, we have a peanut butter sandwich. And a pan of chocolate. I've got no nice drink of water. Seems quite content though. It seems alright. I just uh, could sit up here all day. Especially on days like a day, there's just no wind. It's beautiful. It's a beauty. It's 10.30 in the morning. Look at the weather, man. Oh, it's good thing. Mm. Well, Looks like you're going to drop off the end of the world here, doesn't it? Anyone got any ideas? Yeah. Comment, I have acquired about 600 baits. It's not a new thing for me. Yeah, um, if you can see them. I get the clumps over my arms and my legs. Come on, move. Um, like I say, it's not a new thing. I always get bitten. I used to go to the point where the lads would take the piss because I would wear like tights and like rash guards if I went mountain biking and walking, even in this kind of weather. And they just wouldn't get bitten. Whereas me, I would just get absolutely hammered. 
what can I say? It just tastes nice. But, I mean, any suggestions is welcome. I've tried a few things already, like all the kind of deep stuff. Doesn't really work. I've tried the Avon skin, so soft stuff. Doesn't really work. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of almost at my wit's end with it. I can go, like, I'm here with the wife, and she's got probably about two bites. I'm covered. Um, the bite ratio is just ridiculous. It's got to the point where it bothers us, but not that much. I'll just spend the next week or two just itching away. But I mean, any recommendations, stick in the comments. Be much appreciated. I have been looking at a thing called a flex tail or a flexi tail. Yeah, they're about 40 quid. Apparently they repel midges from 20 foot of your area. Don't think it's mainly for hiking. I think it's like for when you're camping or like you could put it out to the caravan. Um, I don't know if anyone's used one of them before or what anybody's thoughts are on that. Because a shout let us know. Don't think you can see it from here, but there's a rock down there. It looks like it's like just rolled there recently. But it's a big old freaking rock that. You know when something just looks a bit out of place where it is? You like thinking to yourself, but that wasn't there a year or two ago. But I would have loved to have seen it rolling down that hill. Obviously I wouldn't like to have been in the way of it, but because it's a big old hill to roll down that. It looks funny how she stopped there, you thought I might have kept going. No, I didn't went in there, then down into the valley. Ah, oh, yeah, this has we call. Would have been a spectacle to witness. We're coming down into the valley. What a nice little walk this has been. Very enjoyable. So that's Ben Moi pretty much done. Just got a cheeky quarter of a mile back to the van. Just for reference though, if anyone does decide to come here, um, you can park right at the bottom. I pinched the route off Kamut um, and it parked, it, it took me to a parking, a lay-by to parking about quarter of a mile away. I mean, it's the biggie, but when I walked up, I realised you could park right at the uh, foot of it. Anyway, back to the caravan to see little doofalazies and play on some swings and enjoy this beautiful Scottish sunshine. Maybe have a couple of beers, who knows? Oh, it's wood-fired pizza tonight on the caravan site. Thanks for watching. If you want, you can like it. If you want, you can subscribe it. And if you want, leave a comment. Don't forget the insect repellent. Man needs to get that sorted out. And definitely thanks for watching. See you next time.